what we just looked at, Mount Robeson, mm. it was a nun attack. A nun attack. That's that's what British Columbia and the Rocky Mountains looked like at the end of the last ice age. Wow. Wow well, was right. Yeah, the one you're hovering over there, right there, that's probably exactly what it would have looked like from the air 15,000 years ago. Everybody calls that a pyramid. They don't know about nun attacks, I guess. But here's the thing. It is normal under certain cir uh, erosional regimes for the end result to be a pyramid-shaped rock from glacial erosion and water erosion both. Yeah, well, you just answered a lot of conspiratorial questions here. I don't even think you realize what you just did to the internet, Randall. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but this is normal to the plane of the picture, isn't it? Aren't we looking perpendicular? This is a satellite image. That's a two-dimensional, essentially a planar surface there, isn't it? But that actually is very normal glacial erosion. That's not atypical. Why is that? You got a picture, if you've got a, a glacier moving through, it looks like up there just above the red flag. That would be like a base of the thing. Well, that's a valley. That valley was occupied by a moving glacier, and that moving glacier is gouging and stripping the bedrock as it's plowing its way through. What you end up with is, is natural. You can see it in water erosion too. Mm -hmm. What you end up with is triangular planar surface. You've got Mount Robeson and you've got Mount Edith Cavell. You've got the Athabasca River debouching from the Rocky Mountain front, turning south at Hinton, and then following more or less parallel. We started at Mount Robson and we followed the river on out. And then we came out here and let's see, what did we do? Stopped in Calgary, and this is where we met Graham Dunlop and, and uh, Darren Grimes because they were living in Calgary. Going to spray like this, right? Oh, yeah. See, I'm, I'm leading you right up to the precipice of the rabbit hole. 